Hey there, Spartans. Welcome back to another episode of the Spartan Times. I'm Helena Rodriguez, and I'll be your host for this episode. Spring Break is here, and there's a new game that is receiving a lot of attention, Apex Legends. Chris is here to fill us in on what it is and why you should be playing it this Spring Break. Take a look. Nice. Another group over here. They're trying to... Oh, I'm dead. Don't come res me. I am dead. Yeah, I'm oh, no. Right there. Ow, ow, ow. I survived! <laughs> Ow! Oh god, right in front of me. He tried to shoot me. Yeah, one's on top of him. He just came down. Down one. They are coming down from that. Down that one. Got him. Got him. Oh, this thing collapsed! Down one. Hey, this minds. My name is Chris Gonzalez, and welcome back to another gaming segment. This time, we are going to be talking about Apex Legends, the next upcoming battle royale game. Give me a gun, give me a gun. Got both. Keep your dishes if you can. You got both? Yeah. Apex Legends right now, it's it feels like a really good game. It, it, it plays really well, it just feels really well. The co community is really cool about it. And I feel it's like one of the better Battle Royale games right now. I really do enjoy it. And overall, I think the game's just an amazing experience. Oh, definitely. Um, Fortnite, that game's just trash already. And I think Apex is going to get... It's gonna be the new top battle royale game now, and you know it's time for Fortnite to go away. Even then, like you can feel the differences between the different games that have been released within the last three years, and this is definitely like the best one so far. Uh, it's all the mechanics from all the best games. You have the different looting systems, the different shooting systems, the running, the the respawn, like everything. It just changes the entire genre up and makes it ten times better than what it used to be. And the best part about Apex Legends is that you get to choose your own character and your own playstyle. Like, you don't, like, your that character determines your playstyle. You can only choose that character once out of the whole team and how you can use that teamwork to win battles. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed some of that gameplay and please make sure to check out Apex Legends. It is currently free, so make sure you grab some of your friends and squad up. Have a fun spring break, guys. Thanks, Chris. Seems like Fortnite has some competition. Speaking of having fun this spring break, we also want to encourage each and every one of you guys to be safe. We had two of our fellow students make a PSA about drinking and hope you guys take this seriously. Let's have a look. We hope you guys are careful and we will see you all back for the next nine weeks. On a lighter note, we have a recap of the robot competition that happened here at our school. Take it away, Chris.
look like a lot of fun. Robotics are the way of the future, and a big shout out to our own robotic team, which have competed in many competitions, and they represented Sparta well. Speaking of representing Sparta, we're looking for students to show off their Letterman jackets. So if you're interested, please let us know. Last up, we have one more video for you. In showing out Spartan pride, we have our standout Spartan of the week, Isaiah Baird. You might have seen him in cheer, decorating the school, or helping an avid. He's Mr. Do-It-All, and here's Shasa to tell you how he balances it all. Well, that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys have a safe spring break. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at underscore make it digital and subscribe to this channel to see all new episodes. This has been fun. Bye, guys. I started cheering because my sister was a cheerleader and so are my cousins and I did every single sport before that and I was like, I mean, why not? And I did it one practice and I completely fell in love with it. Uh, I think just being um, a male cheerleader was really hard. People like always judging you, like the hyper feminine, like masculine uh, type uh, stereotypes. I had to overcome those, but then they weren't that big. Well, hi, my name is Isaiah Baird. I am a junior here at Pueblo Hills High School. Um, I am the busiest bee ever. Everyone asks me, like, oh, like, how do you, like, manage your time? I don't know. My planner, my agenda, Jesus, uh, whatever happens. But I have to manage myself with cheer. I've been doing it for seven years. I'm a dual credit student. I'm a top ten student. Uh, I'm in the, I'm a student council officer on Pride and Patriotism. I'm in the principal advisor committee. I'm also in the superintendent student council. It's, it's crazy. For my first ever program in Pebble Hills was AVID, and I have been in AVID, and it's really helped me a lot with my grades and everything, and then I started going into cheer, and then cheer opened a lot more doors with student council, and then all these committees, and it's just been, it all started with AVID, basically. Every member of AVID is important to us, so he's an extremely important part of our program. He um, participates in our community service projects. He's an active member in our class. He's a great peer tutor. He helps his classmates when he needs to. Um, he's just a positive light and avid to have. The reason I'm so involved is because I really like being like at school. I really like putting myself out there. I wasn't really in anything my freshman and sophomore year. So junior year, I was like, might as well get involved. And now I'm like super involved. And it just happened, but I really enjoy it. Uh, my motivation is my parents. They always work so hard to make me and my sister happy, so I work so hard in order to impress them and make sure they are proud of me all the time. I am proud of myself. I think that I do a lot of stuff that I never thought I was able to, but then again, like I feel like I can do a lot more. He's just humble. He doesn't act more than what he is. You know what I mean? He's humble. My name is Isaiah Baird, and this is my story.